this video we will talk about unearned income. Unearned income is also called deferred revenue. Unearned income are advanced collections from customers. The payments that the company receives are in exchange of the products or services. The products or services are yet to be delivered or fulfilled in the future periods. Kaya unearned pa yung income. The company has an obligation to fulfill kung ano man yung advance payments from the customers. Also, accrual basis of accounting is used. It says that income is considered earned when services are already rendered and goods are already delivered to the customers. Thus, an earned income is a liability sa part ni company. And there are two methods in recording an earned income. First is the income method and then second is the liability method. Let's start with the first method, which is the income method. So in here, cash receipts or mga advanced collections na receive natin are initially credited to an income account. So lahat ng receive natin advanced collections sa income account siya mapupunta. So what type of income account? So let us assume na yung business is about leasing activities or yung nagpaparenta. So, kada nakaka-receive siya ng advanced collections or advanced rental payments from mga tenants niya, magre-record siya ng rent income. So, the entry to record the cash receipt, we debit it to cash and we credit to rent income. Yung amount kung ano man or magkano yung binibigay. So, nasabi natin kanina na unearned income are not yet income. So, kailangan natin i-adjust yung entry natin. Kailangan natin itama yung balances. For the adjusting entry, we debit rent income and we credit an unearned rent income. So, what amount? So, yung amount na i-record natin is yung unearned portion or yung liability portion. Kasi, di ba, unearned income or liability of the company. Kaya, adjust natin yung correct balances ng rent income and unearned rent income. So, kung ano yung tamang balances ng income and ano yung liability. Next method is the liability method. In here, cash receipts are initially credited to a liability account. So, tuwing nakaka-receive ng advanced collections ang company from its customers, diretsyo na agad siya sa liability account. So, original entry is we debit cash and we credit an unearned rent income. An earned rent income is a liability account. So, makikita natin to sa current liabilities. So, the adjusting entry na gagawin natin using the liability method would be a debit to unearned rent income and credit to rent income. So, anong amount yung ilalagay natin dito? This time, we record the earned portion or yung kinoconsider na nating income. So, always remember these two methods, the income method and liability method. It's up to the company kung ano yung gagamitin nila. So, when adjusting an earned income, whatever the method man ang gamitin, the debit is always similar or same to the method. So, anong ibig sabihin na to? Kapag income method ang ginamit, ang adjusting entry mo would be a debit to income account then, which is rent income. So, kapag liability method, by adjusting entries, ang debit mo would be a liability account then, which is an earned rent income. So, tatandaan lang natin tong reminder na to. The debit is always the same as the method. Makakatulong sa atin to when recording adjusting entries para hindi tayo malito. Ang debit na tinutukoy dito is debit sa adjusting entries. So to further understand yung adjusting entries about an earned income, meron tayo dito ng sample transactions. An entity receives a 50,000 advance rent covering 4 years starting January 1, 2019. So, yung 50,000 na to is for 4-year period. So, ibig sabihin, 50,000 divided by 4 years, 12,500 yung makukuha nating rent per year. So, the requirement would be prepare year-end adjusting entries under each method. So, the period the naglaps na would be from January 1, 2019 up to year end which is December 31, 2019. So, simulan na natin sa unang method which is yung income method. 
So in here, yung cash receipts natin are initially credited to an income account. So ang original entry to record cash receipt will be original entry natin ay debit to cash. So in what amount? So we receive 50,000 advance rent. So yung amount natin is 50,000. And also we credit it to our rent income amounting to 50,000 as well. So after recording this, we prepare na tayo ng adjusting entries. So di ba, na discuss kanina na when income method is used, the debit adjusting entries would be same as the method. So debit natin ay income account which is yung rent income. We credit the unearned rent income. So in what amount yung value nitong adjustments natin? So, we record the unearned portion. So, according sa transaction, yung 50,000 is for 4 years. And yung naglapse na time is from January 2019 to December 2019. So, 1 year yon. So, ilan yung unearned portion? 1 year pa lang yung nagamit out of 4 years. So, ang ratio would be 3 fourth. Ito pa yung portion ng advance rent income na considered unearned or liability portion. So, 3 4 times 50,000. So, ano yung makukuha natin? Times lang natin. So, 50,000 times 3 fourths is equal to 37,500. So, meaning, in 37,500 natin is the liability portion or yung unearned rent income na mag appear sa current liabilities. So, after the income method would be the liability method. So, dito, yung na-receive natin na 50,000 will be credited sa liability account. So, we debit a cash of 50,000 and we credit an earned rent income which is under the current liabilities. 50,000 and then yung amount na yan. The adjusting entries would be so, since liability method, the debit would be similar to the method. So, we debit a liability account. So, to record adjusting entries, we debit an earned rent income. And we credit yung rent income. So, this time, anong portion yung i-record natin? So, we record the earned portion or yung income portion na. So, di ba kanina, January 1, 2019 to December 31, 2019 na yun, nag-lapse. So, it is equivalent to 1 year. So, 1 fourth ng 50,000 na yung na-earn. So, we multiply lang yung 1 fourth sa 50,000. So, 50,000 times 1 fourth, makukuha natin ay 12,500. 12,500 na yung considered na income. Always remember that regardless of the method used, magka-come up tayo sa same amount ng rent income and unearned rent income. So, gagamitin natin yung T-account para ma-prove yun. So, ito yung T-account natin for rent income. So, sa left-hand side, i-record natin yung debit and sa right-hand yung credit. So, di pa upon receipt, nag-record tayo ng 50,000 na credit sa rent income. So, nung nag-adjusting entries tayo, nag-record tayo ng debit sa rent income. So, lalagay natin sa debit yung 37,500. Let's compute for that. Ang makukuha natin is 12,500. So, yun na yung balance ng ating rent income. Tuwing gumagamit tayo ng T-account, the ending balance is opposite the normal balance. Rent income is credit, so yung ending balance natin na 12,500 is under sa debit. So next na kukumpute natin would be the unearned rent income. So nag-record tayo ng credit unearned income amounting to 37,500. Ito yung adjusting entries natin. So wala nang ibang naka-affect dito. So bali ang ending balance natin would be sa debit side kasi unearned rent income has a normal credit balance. So, dito natin makikita na debit always equals sa total credit.
Next naman is computein natin yung unearned rent income under the liability method. So, dito nag-credit tayo ng unearned rent income upon receipt which is 50,000. So, adjusting entries, nag-debit tayo ng unearned rent income amount to 12,500. 50,000 less 12,500 equates to 37,500. So, total debit natin is 50, total credit is 50, so equal lagi yan. So, sa rent income naman, nag-record tayo ng credit ng adjusting entry which is equal to 12,500. So, ending balance natin is same din kasi wala ng ibang transaction na nangyari. So, ngayon, tapos na tayong kunin yung mga balances. Let us compare the balances sa income and liability method. So, sa rent income equates to 12,500. So, similar din siya. Sa unearned rent income naman is 37,500. So, it's just proof na regardless of the method, same yung balance sa makukuha natin. Thank you.